I said several months ago that I was not going to make any more videos debunking free energy. Problem is, it's just too damn much fun. Also, I like kicking the asses of these ignoramuses who come up with miracle devices that do not work. The following video is uh, on YouTube several places, different channels. Each one make astonishing claims in the video's description, such as free energy, uh, stop buying gasoline, that, that one cracks me up. Okay, I'll stop buying gasoline. Of course, I need gasoline, but, you know, I'll stop buying it. Uh, electric motor, magnet motor, the, which the device is neither. Uh, it just cracks me up. Total energy independence for tomorrow's world. The answer is no. And I will show you why. As you crank this motor up, and like you do the other one, the motor will start running. And uh, what I'll do, I'll energize it on this motor here. First off, it's not a motor. It's a dynamo. There is a sharp distinction. Also notice he said he was going to energize his device. He did that by plugging it into the city power grid. If you can see these amp gauges over here, this will come when we get it up to about 150 volts We'll unplug it, and we'll turn the light on. You can hear the flywheel attached to the dynamo is ramping up its RPMs. You can, there is an audio, you can hear that ramping up. He also says that once he gets to 150 volts, he will disconnect the power from the power grid, the city power grid. Volts, of course, doesn't matter. If you turn this around where you can see this side here, all the working parts is behind this system here operates from a little computer it takes just five volts it's 150 volts it doesn't matter that it's 150 volts what matters is current amperature how many amp hours how many amps how much current is the device drawing that is what matters voltage ignore it it doesn't matter I have circled here in red the amp meter that is um, graduated from zero to, it looks like there's 10 graduations, perhaps 11 graduations. Unfortunately, one cannot read what the dial is indicating, how many amps the device is drawing. That, of course, is of chief interest, and nobody here in the video has bothered to tell us how many amps the device is drawing. What we're going to do, turn off all the switches, make sure there ain't nothing plugged into it. There's the plug. So he disconnects city power grid, and immediately one can hear that the dynamo is ramping down. That's because the dynamo has a hell of a lot of friction in it. There's your 110 volts. Motor still running. You can operate this table plumb around. Still got energy running. Nothing tied up in the back of it. Nothing on the floor. Rotate around, still running up, running electricity. That part just cracks me up. He seems to believe that people won't believe him when he shows that a flywheel has kinetic energy that he added to it and that the flywheel is driving his dynamo. Nobody would say that's not possible. It would be a hell of a lot more efficient just to plug the light bulb into the city power grid. Instead, what he has done is he take uh, city power, stored it in a flywheel, and then converted that kinetic energy back into electrical energy to light a light bulb. That is vastly inefficient. It would be a hell of a lot more efficient just to use a lead acid battery. So we're looking, hoping, hoping 
this time next year that you'll be able to use it in your home. I cannot imagine why I would want this device in my home. Seriously, what the fuck does it give us? Here at the ranch, we use lead-acid batteries to store electricity. There's no reason at all to store energy into a flywheel and then use a dynamo to convert it back into electrical energy. The last thing people want or need, the last thing people should have in their homes is this idiot device. 